In this demonstration, we're going to use Flowize to create our first basic React agent. Inside of Flowize, you will choose Chop Flows, and you will choose Add New. And then you will start off with a blank canvas. OK, so now what we can do here is we can start off with our language model. So we need a language model. This is going to help power this agent capabilities, such as planning and reasoning. And we're going to use Chat Open AI. So here we have Chat Open AI. And you should have already set up your credentials. So we have a video about that as well in the previous section where we introduce Flow ICI. And you will take that credential and you're going to set it up here. So I'm going to choose my credential here because I already have it stored. And then for this, I'm going to use the GPT-40 Mini, which is the one of the latest models from OpenAI. And I need to use one of the latest models because I want to use the model that has really good reasoning capabilities. But you can experiment with any of these models or different providers as well. So we have this model here. And then what we need is we need our React agent. So inside of Flowwise, because it's built on top of Langchain, we have the ability to use Langchain's React agent functionality. So if we go under agents right here, you will see that there are several types of agents that have been built in into the Flowwise tool. And so the one that we're going to use is this React agent for chat models. So agent that uses the React logic to decide what action to take, optimized to be used with chat models. So I'm just going to drag this here. And so now we have two of the core components that makes this React agent. So what I need to do is I need to connect this now. And we have our chat model right here. And then we're missing two components here. We discuss the ability of the React agent to use these external tools. So we can connect an external tool right here. So we can use, for instance, something like a calculator as a very basic example here. So I'm going to go here. And you will see that there's also a tool section. So here's a tool section. And under tools, we have this calculator tool. So I can go and drag that here. And now we have a calculator tool. It's not asking me to do anything special. It's just a calculator. But I can now connect that to allow tools. So I can continue to add more tools if I want. But for this demonstration, I'm going to keep it very basic. In future use cases and demonstrations, we're going to be using all kinds of very complex tools, such as search engines and so forth. Then the last component here is memory. So I'm going to take a memory component from here. So if we go to the list here, we have memory. And under memory, we have different kinds of memory components. One type of memory component that we can use here is this buffer memory. And what does it do? It retrieves chat messages stored in a database. So basically, it's going to allow the React agent to use its chat history if it needs to access whatever information it had pulled already from the external tool. So I'm just going to drag it here, and then I'm just going to connect it right here. We have our memory component, we have our chat model, and we have our calculator. So that's it. We have developed a very basic React agent. And now we can save this. So I'm going to go here to this button. I'm going to save, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this basic React. I'm going to save this. And the cool thing about Flowwise is that I can very quickly test this idea. So we have this chat feature here that I can go and open. And then I can start to interact with my agent. So I can type a question like, how much is 98,000 times? I'm giving it a math problem here. I want the agent to actually use the calculator because that is what it has access to. I'm just going to ask it this question. For problems like this, you really don't want to trust a language model to do tasks like this. So it's going to be very useful for the agent to access this calculator and it's going to see it. It's going to see, oh, I have a sort of math problem here and it's going to decide, OK, I need to take these two different numbers and I need to give and provide that to the calculator as some type of input. And then the calculator is going to respond back with the result and then it's going to have the result. And then the language model will compose a final answer for us. That's sort of what the process is here. So you can see here it says 98,000 times 150,000 is this huge number here. So again, for calculations like this, we really want to use like a calculator tool to do this. So this is the first example of a basic React agent 
with all the different components that we discussed in this module. And in upcoming modules, we are going to build on top of this idea and build more complex agentic systems that are going to leverage complex tools and leverage this idea of the ability of an agent to use memory, to use different tools and use a very powerful large language model to complete very complex tasks.